Hello everyone, this is Sue Broom and I'm here to do the weekly angel card reading for the week of September 27 through October 3rd of 2021. And as I'm shuffling the Desert Speaks deck, this card wants to be the one. That was, that was really quick. So I pull one card from the Desert Speaks and then I pull three cards from the Angels Are Everywhere deck. So if you can, I've been holding the intention. I've already called in angels and loved ones and guides. So if you want to do that and continue holding the intention right along with me. Today the cards are coming out, at least the Desert Speaks card came out quite quickly. So let's see how the angels come out. This is the last couple of days of September. So we have endings and beginnings this week, just with the month change. And we also have, I believe it's today, which is, I'm actually recording on Sunday. Oh, there's the first angel card that Mercury um, is kind of at its full stop and appears to be going retrograde starting today. Oh, there's the second angel card. So... You know, that has to do with communications might be a little off, uh, electronics might be working, I've, and I've already experienced some communication things kind of going wonky, but com computers might be um, a little difficult, third angel card. So just be aware of that. It lasts typically, I believe it's three weeks, and then it goes into shadow where it's not quite as bad, but it's still, you can still feel its effect. So pay attention. All right, so we have the cards. I do not know what any of them are. So let's continue and see what this week, um, what the cards are going to reveal for us. So let's see what the cards are uh, going to, how they are going to support us. How is the universe going to support us through letting us know through the cards. So the desert speaks. The, this is the one where I pull one card to anchor the reading. Ooh, <laughs> I love this and ground yourself. Oh, I love this picture. This picture kind of looks like, it kind of looks like it came from Sedona, which it didn't. And it kind of looks like a spaceship, which it could be made out of rock. I don't know. But this is, it's interesting because we're in the last couple days of September. We're moving into a new month. There's a lot of planets that are still in retrograde, which I didn't realize until I was reading something just a little bit ago. So absolutely grounding ourselves into, you know, and it's, by, I, it's yes into Mother Earth, but it's also grounding ourselves into ourselves. And that may sound kind of strange, but it feels to me like it has to do with really feeling the emotions that you might be going through, um, making sure that the feelings that you're feeling are truly yours. Let everybody else's go because let them have their own responsibility. You can feel your own feelings, but then ground yourself in the love that you are and allow yourself to feel the feelings, feel the emotions that you're feeling. Because right now I feel there's a lot of people that, that um, there's old, old, old stuff that's coming up maybe from your life or this lifetime earlier but it may be from past lives that you're connected to as well as well as um, from ancestors and your ancestral lineage so interesting interesting boy a lot of information just came out on this card so hopefully um, in case you missed any of it you'll you can go back and replay when it's all done so that's the card that's kind of anchoring the week. So let's see how the angels are going to support us. Of course, we want to call on the angels. And it's so funny because, yes, as we're going through whatever it is we're going through, it's always good to have support. And our angels are always with us. Our loved ones, call on your loved ones on the other side. This morning I was, I, I started singing a song and I had a question for my brother on the other side and yep, the chimes all of a sudden started chiming. So it's like, oh yeah, okay, that was right. So call upon us, call upon your loved ones on the other side, call upon your angels, call upon your guides. 
they are there to support you. And I feel like the other piece of this is call upon support. I feel like too many people, me included, it's difficult for us to ask for help and ask for support when we need it. So call upon us. That's kind of a biggie for, for everyone. The second angel card we have is feel our presence. And there, the, and there go the chimes. So this, I love that these two came up together because call upon the angels and then allow yourself to feel their presence. Call upon your loved ones. As I said, I was asking my brother a question. I was asking out loud. It's like, is that the song you liked? Chimes started going off. So go figure. <laughs> Just a coincidence, I'm sure. Not. So ground yourself into this reality. You know, there, there's a lot of other realities that maybe you may feel like are really happening, but this is the reality. The angels are our reality. Feeling their presence is our reality. And the third angel card is embrace the new. <laughs> wow, what, what perfect cards. So embracing the new, what does that have to do with? Oh, that has to do with everything new that is going on. Keeping in mind, as I said, this is the end of September, beginning of October. And, you know, whenever I see the number 10, which is October, it's kind of leveling up. It's a new beginning, but it's, it's the next level. So be prepared that this is going to be a lot of things shifting and shaking going on this week. And that's why grounding yourself into Mother Earth, but grounding yourself into yourself. Grounding yourself into the love that you have for yourself and for others, but grounding your love into yourself. Wow. Feeling, feeling your love, feeling the presence, feeling, feeling the presence of your own love. What a concept. Angel blessings to you. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Thank you so much for joining me this week and please do like and share this video. And if you haven't clicked the subscribe button on YouTube, go ahead, click that subscribe button and then you'll get and the bell and then you'll get notified when new videos come out. If you would like to share your comments, please do so. I do my best to reply to every single comment that is below. So Angel Blessings, if you want to find out more about me, go to my website, suebroom.com. It's got all of my services that I offer, the readings that I do, the healing work that I do, as well as where you can get my journals and decks of cards that I use, and my Etsy store. So have a great day. Have a great week. Angel Blessings to all of you. Thank you.